Hey, what's up? Phil Ebener back with Video School Online, and today I have another Premiere Pro tutorial for you. This one is all about reducing grain right within Adobe Premiere Pro. So you don't have to send it over to After Effects or anything like that. We're gonna learn how we can do it right within Premiere Pro. So I'm in Premiere Pro. I have this grainy video that I just shot of my dog in my dark office. So I was purposely trying to get a shot that had a lot of grain. This is using the Canon 70D, which doesn't have great low light abilities anyways. And you can see if I zoom in here, you can see how much noise and grain there is in this footage. So this tip comes from a good friend, Kurt Anderson, over at Adobe Masters. And he showed me how to do this using the median effect. I will tell you that this is not the perfect answer to removing grain. It's much better to do this with a plugin or to send it over to After Effects, which has a more powerful filter, which I'm actually going to show you at the end of this tutorial, just to compare and contrast with what I'm doing here. But for those of you who want to do some quick and easy noise reduction, we can try to do it a little bit in Premiere Pro. So go over to the effects panel and under video effects, and then under noise and grain, or if you type in median, you will find this median filter. Drag that onto your video clip that you want to apply it to. Now, nothing happens right now, but we do have this effect in our effects controls panel now, and you have an, a radius setting. So if we set this to something like five, pay attention to what's happening up here in the dark spots of this video. Look at it, it kind of goes away, but the problem is it kind of makes the whole image a little blurry. What the median effect is actually doing is it's pulling colors from the pixels that are around that pixel that it's affecting. And so it's taking like those median or those average kind of colors and that's why it reduces some of that noise and grain because by taking the average of everything, it kind of blends it all together. So what the median effect is actually doing, it's taking a pixel, it's pointing at each pixel, and then it's looking at all of the pixels around it and it's taking the median color from around that pixel and then it's blending it all together or replacing that original pixel's color. So that's why you get this sort of denoise or blurred effect. And this is great to get rid of some noise, but what the problem is is now my pup's eyes and the subject or the details are a little blurry. We can do a little bit of editing here with these masks, which I love in the new versions of Premiere Pro CC. So you can create a mask and this effect will only apply within that mask. So say I wanna just get rid of that noise that was up here in the top left corner. Let me turn this on and off so you can see. I'm going to use this free draw bezier tool. So now I can click here, I can click and drag here. Clicking and dragging allows you to create sort of a curve. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can click up here and then just close my sort of corner like so. And then I could even go over here and do the same thing. So if I click the free draws Bezier tool again, maybe I just wanna get this whole area. Now this works better if you have a subject that isn't moving because as soon as my dog moves into where these masks are, that part of the, my dog is not, is going to be affected by this effect. With both of these masks, I do want to bring up the feathering to like between 50 to 100. So we'll go to an even 75. And that just creates this feather. So the effect sort of blur blends into this mask rather than there being a hard line where it's being applied and then right next to it, it's not being applied. You can also play around with the radius of the, the effect. So going up even more, it Wow, I went to 110. Wow, <laughs> that was way too much. But if we go to 10, for example, and then say we just go here and we turn it on and off, you can probably see what's happening. See how it gets rid of a lot of that noise and grain? We do get that sort of blur effect, which you might not like. And that's why you want to maybe put this down to like between two and five. Hopefully your footage looks better than this shot. I purposely shot with a crazy high ISO on a camera that doesn't do well in low light and that's why we got so much noise and grain but hopefully again this tip will help you easily and quickly get rid of some of the digital noise in Premiere Pro. Now I'm going to go over to After Effects to show you they have a an actual remove grain effect. So I have the same footage and it's not being applied 
you can't see it on this whole frame. It's just previewing, previewing what's happening in this square right here. And so if I move this square around, you can see where it's applying. So I know it's probably a little hard for you to see when you're watching this online, but you can probably see that in the square, there's not as much noise. And then outside of the square, there's not as much noise. If I go over my pup Ashby's face, it's not blurring Ashby's face like the median effect did in Premiere Pro. Even over her ears, you can see that it's mostly being applied to the background area where the noise is really apparent. And that's just with the remove grain effect. I have my re noise reduction settings set to two. I can tweak these and play around with these. That's for another tutorial for another day, but I did just wanna show you a comparison of how you can quickly remove noise and grain in Premiere Pro versus After Effects. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.